Hello Cancer. This is your mid-May 2019 reading. It will not resonate with all Cancer individuals, so please keep that in mind. And I always look for a positive reading, but if not, we don't get one, maybe we'll work, you know, we'll work it out. We'll work it out. But this is for Cancer. Mid-May 2019 five card spread. And I do meditate on these cards on your sign even before I start this video. Let's see what we got coming here. Let's see what we got going on. Beginning energy. We got high priestess. Possibly, let me see, focus this in. I'm using a new camera. Possibly um, coming into your own power, listening to your own intuition. Uh, trying to discover secrets around that surround you. Sometimes they're inner secrets. Sometimes they're around you. It's like a mystery. This card is, is also known as, uh, you know, discovering the mysteries out there, the mysteries inside you, the mysteries in the world. But it's also, like I said, listening to your gut instinct. In the past, becoming unchained. I guess I have to do it in a distance. That's the devil in reverse. Becoming unchained, possibly, or being stuck in it. i got to clarify to find out. Bear with me. When I do clarify these, it can change up the story. Obstacle. You feel like your ships aren't coming in. The thing's positive. That's the obstacle. You're maybe feeling this way. Current environment. you got the chariot in the upright. Come on. Focus in. The chariot in the upright. And that's good. It means things are uh, moving forward quickly. At current environment for mid-May. I'll get this out. Outside influences that are surrounding you is possibly or can be possibly a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The outcome mm, is the love in reverse. Two of Cups in reverse. So you may be becoming unchained from somebody and then moving forward. It could have, like I said, do with a fire sign, but I can change up the story, so bear with me. The Devil in reverse. Why are you there for Cancer in mid-May? Becoming unchained or feeling oppressed about money, about wealth. See, like I said, it could be either or. It's in the upright, so I'm thinking it could be have a lot to do with the money. Maybe you're gonna you wanting some money to come in. Maybe you're wanting the positives to come in. Now you got the devil in reverse, the ten of pentacles in the upright. Why are you there for cancer? The moon. You may have think of somebody kind of messed you over with money. Or it could be that you feel like you don't know how you're going to uh, get your finances in order with the moon. It's like, again, things hidden from you. Secrets, in a way. Now, the obstacles, the three of wands. Three of wands. That's about your ships coming in. You know, things that positive you want to come in your life with passion. Okay? It's an obstacle. You feel like you're not getting it. So, the three of wands... In reverse, why are you there? And you may have to move, or you're trying to move, or you're trying to move on from these troubles, and it's difficult for you. Three of Wands in reverse, Six of Swords in the upright, why are you there for Cancer? Let's see what's going on here. And you're disappointed. You're looking at all the negativity. And the problem with that is when you're looking at the negativity, sometimes those negative situations become a reality if you keep on thinking about them. The, um, what's attached to this card is to look at the positives with the two full cups because three, three cups in this, in, this, in this card, you got five cups. Three are usually spilt and two are full. The person that's looking at this is looking at the negatives, the spilt cups, instead of the two full cups that are still there waiting for them to take. 
So that's the obstacle. You're not seeing the positives or the full cups you have around you. I move these up. This, like I said, is a new camera. My other one was like overheating and it was very difficult to get everything recorded right. Now, the current environment in mid-May is the chariot in the upright, and it's a great card in the uh, upright. It means things are going to move forward. Things are going to start moving forward for you in a, in, a, in a direction that you want in life. You're going to start taking hold of your life and moving, you know, quickly. So the chariot in the upright, why are you there for cancer? Why are you there for cancer is the current environment. Yeah, no longer taking a break, no longer waiting around, no longer... Um, Waiting for things to come towards you, you're going to go towards them, and that's a good thing. Remember those two full cups, go towards them. The chariot in the upright, four swords in reverse, why are you there? As a current environment for mid-May. Success. Yeah, you're going forward because you, 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 to something else because you lack success in the past. You're going forward to something else. Now, the outside environment, what may be causing some of this or influencing it in some way, is the Prince of Wands. Now, Prince of Wands, it can be a messenger or messages, passionate messages, or someone with a short temper. It could be a person like Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in reverse. So, so it could be that. Or you just felt like things are coming in the way you're wanting them to, or the people that you're wanting, they're not coming in the way you want it to. So you're going to move forward to something different I think the way I'm feeling you're moving forward to something a whole new world but we shall see Prince of Wands in reverse why are you there for cancer what's going on the High Priestess again something about secrets someone has secrets now I don't know if it's you having secrets or them but I'm assuming it's, it is them because it's the outside environment it's all about secrets and you're disappointed and you want to become unchained from the situation. You're going to move forward. Now, the Prince of Wands in reverse, the High Priestess in the upright while you're there. Yeah. Ace of Cups. If someone's offering you something, okay, if they do offer you an emotional attachment, okay, Cancer, there may be some hidden agendas involved, so please keep that in mind, okay? Uh, you may not know everything, so um, the story to this or the key to this is to unravel the secrets possibly. Because I see, we had the high priestess twice, okay? And we had the moon once. And that's all about hidden things, you know? So someone may be keeping a secret from you. Or maybe just not telling you everything. And you may not want to deal with this person because of that. And you may move forward to something else. Because we have the Two of Cups in reverse. Yeah. You're looking for more fortunate things. You're not looking for love that does not work out. So Two of Cups in reverse with the, uh, and the Wheel of Fortune in the upright. Why are you there? I told you the story could change up. Yeah, from someone in the past. You're not looking for no more negative love offers from the past. You're moving forward and going for your fortune. You do not want to be put in the, in the devil's realm again, you know, um, stuck. Because that's what will happen if you accept things that are hidden, that aren't clear to you. And also what is attached to this high priestess is to listen to your gut instinct. If something's not right, it usually isn't. You know, when it nags you and nags you and nags you. I'm not talking about paranoia. I'm talking about when something really uh, bugs you. It may, uh, if you're not unable, if you're unable to release yourself from this situation, you will become chained and stuck and you feel like you won't be able to get out. And so the key is to move forward. It's up to you. This is where Tarot works out for us. This is where it helps us and doesn't hinder us. It tells us the information of the possibilities, what can happen, and what you can do about it. You don't have to go for this. You do not have to accept negative energy. Um, I'm thinking what the, what the cards are trying to say is look for the two full cups, look for things that are positive in your life, and go towards them. 
and don't accept offers with that have hidden hidden agendas, okay? Because if you do and you keep on going forward, you may be stuck. And it may cost you some money, okay? So the key is to break free from a situation because it may cost you some money with the devil in reverse and the moon there. So it's up to you whether you accept this energy or not. How you work this out in your life and to make it prosperous is to move forward for successful things. You know, your fortune. Move forward to the fortune. And don't accept offers that are negative from the past that are no good anymore. You might do it. You might accept this and become chained again. Do you want that? It's up to you. I don't tell people what to do. I just tell them what the cards say. So this is your reading. Watch for hidden agendas. Watch for things that are secret. Watch for things that aren't on the up and up. Because this may not be on the up and up what's going to be offered to you. Because we have the Ace of Cups. There is an emotional offer coming. But listen to your gut instinct on this one. Okay? And this is your reading. And I'm going to try to upload it as soon as I can. And hopefully it does it right because I am using this new camera.